Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Little Railway Adventures, Episode 68, Edward the Unreliable Engine. Although Edward the Blue Engine is very, is very old, he is nonetheless kind. He is one of the kindest engines the railway has ever seen. He is also a hard worker, and his trains are never late. Because of this, he is well respected. One day, Sir Topham Hat came to the shed. The holiday season is just around the corner, he said, and it is approaching fast. Therefore, I need an engine to help shunt Gordon's express coaches. Edward, will you do it? Oh, yes, sir, said Edward. I will. Good, said Sir Topham Hat, and he walked away. Gordon was cross. Oh, he said. Gord Edward, shunting my express coaches? Pa, he's sure to make he's sure to have trouble shunting them. I won't, said Edward. I'll be on time every day. And he soon fell asleep. The next day, Edward went to go shunt his coaches. He found them in the yard very quickly. Oh, good, said Edward. This won't take long, then. But his, but his fire had not heated up properly, and suddenly there was a big clash, and all of a sudden, Edward stopped. What's the matter, he asked. It's your fire. It's your, it's your fire, said the driver. You've broken down again, Edward. Your old age has taken its toll. Bother, said Edward. This is terrible. When Gordon awoke and heard the news, he was cross, and he raced out of the shed as fast as he could. Ha, said Gordon, I told you so, You and, and you broke down on the first day. This isn't a good sign, and it wasn't. Edward was shunted out of the way, and Gordon came to take his own express coaches. Later that day, Edward had some, where some workmen came to fix Edward, and soon he was shunting in the yard. He was fit. That morning he had felt very bright and cheerful, but now he felt sad. Oh dear, he said, I don't feel the same engine again. Just then, Fearless Freddy popped up. What's the matter, Edward, he said. I feel so useless, he said. Why, asked Freddy, and Edward told, and Edward told, told Freddy about his problem with the express coaches. Oh, said Freddy, I see. Well, I'm sorry you're having such a bad day. Thanks, said Edward. Freddy shunted his, shunted his milk tankers into the siding. And Edward puffed away. Along the way, he met Duck. Hi, Duck, he said. Hi, Duck, said Edward. You look bright and cheerful. But Edward was looking sad. Why do you say that? Oh, well, considering that everyone on the island of Sutter knows that you're unreliable, you do look cheerful. Edward was, Edward was confused. Unreliable? What are you talking about? I heard that I heard that someone started a rumor about you that you were unreliable. Now the entire island knows. Oh dear, said Edward, that's terribly wrong. Can you please tell all your friends that I'm still reliable? Sure, said Duck. Thank you, he said. He rushed to the turntable just as Wilbur was passing by. Have you heard that I'm not unreliable? Uh, have you heard that I'm unreliable? Yes, said Wilbur. Is it true? No, it isn't, said Edward. Please tell all your friends. I will, said Wilbur. And he puffed away. Ah, oh, said. Oh, said Edward. He was very tired after the morning's events, and he decided to sit in a siding. Later that evening, Sir Topham Hat came to talk to him. I'm hearing this rumor around that you're the most unreliable engine on the railway. Do you know who started this? I don't, sir, said Edward, but I'm very sad. All the engines think it is true. Well, they're wrong. You're the most reliable engine on this railway right now. I need you to do a favor. Can you go shun the cookie cars for, sir, for Peter Sam? Yes, sir, said Edward. I will. And Edward rushed away. He found the cookie cars. He found the cookie cars. In, the, in one of the sidings. Good, said Edward. Here they are. Edward was coupled up. Edward was coupled up to the cookie cars. But he had to wait. But he had to wait, as some of the workmen were still putting the goods in. All good, they said. Good, said Edward, and he puffed off. He soon found Peter Sam. Hi, Peter Sam. He said, "Are these for you?" Yep, said. Yep, said Peter Sam. Thank you very much, Edward. You're welcome, said Edward. By the way, have you heard the rumor that I'm not reliable? Oh, yes, but I know it's not true. Edward, you're the most reliable engine on the railway. Oh, thank you very much, said Edward. You're welcome, said Peter Sam. And Peter Sam puffed away with the coach, puffed away with the cookie cars. Edward still felt very sad. Oh, dear, he said. I wonder who could have started that awful rumor about me. But he soon figured it out. It must have been Gordon. Gordon would be the only one mad at me at this moment. Hmm, I better go talk to him. And Edward puffed away. 
He was searching around for he was searching around for Gordon. Hmm, he said, I wonder where Gordon could be. Just then he heard him. Gordon was puffing through the engine shed. Hi, Duck, he said. Hello, said Duck. Hmm, how are you doing? Good, said Gordon and yourself. I'm doing all right. But it's depressing to hear that you started an awful rumor about Edward. I didn't know such thing, said Gordon. Hmm, said Edward. This is interesting. He was listening behind the shed. Do you know who started then? I don't know, said Gordon. But I've heard rumors too. I know, I know, but I still know that Edward is unreliable. Why do you say that? Because he is. Duck was furious. So you're lying... Oh, fine, he said. I've been caught. Oh, well. So you did start those rumors, didn't you? Yes, said Gordon. Why did you? Well, said Gordon, because, well, I put, well, Sir Topham had put him in charge of the express coaches today. But instead of getting them ready for me, he fooled around. He played in the yard with the trucks and did nothing else. I had to, I had to shunt them myself. It was awful. Oh, don't listen to a word Edward says. Listen, for, listen to an engine who knows, who knows what he's talking about. And Gordon puffed away. Duck was cross. So Edward lied to me too. Just then, Edward puffed out, puffed out from behind the shed. That's all a lie too, he said. Gordon just lied to you again. He did, said Duck. I'm confused. Who's telling the truth? I am. I broke down. Oh, said Duck. You never told me that. Well, thank you for telling me that. I'm sure to tell all my friends now. Edward raced after Gordon, but Gordon was, but Gordon was going very fast. He decided to go into a siding and rest. Edward soon caught up with him. He spun around on the turntable. Gordon, he said, why did you start that rumor about me? I didn't know such thing, said Gordon. I wonder who could have started a rumor like that, though. I heard you, said, said Edward. Where? I was behind the shed doors when you were talking to Ed, when you were talking to Duck, said Edward crossly. Would you stop lying? It's hurting my feelings. Oh, fine, said Gordon. I'm sorry, Edward, he said. But I'm just cross right now. Why? Sir Topham had expects so much from me since it's the holiday season. I'm just nervous. And to take my anger out, I started an awful rumor about you. I'm sorry, Edward, and I'll never do it again. That's all right, said Edward. Now that Edward knew that, Ed that Gordon was being truthful, truthful, he felt like he could go to do his work in peace.